Hello, hello everyone. It is that time. My latest coloring book, Cosmetica, has arrived. I had a very specific goal in mind with this release. I wanted to push my audience to explore the fantastical. Notice that I use the word push and not the phrase gently nudge. It was all intentional and we'll get into it in a second. So with all of my releases, I encourage my coloristas to let loose. I screech, get messy. I screech it from the rooftops all of the time. I say it regularly because getting wild with color and with art supplies is one of life's simplest pleasures and it's a simple pleasure but it's one of the greatest pleasures and it's one that most people tend to ignore you know they want to be creative but then they find themselves getting lost within the confines of convention oh i need to color within the lines oh i need to use proper flesh tones oh the sky is blue therefore i need to color it blue Mm -mm. i don't play that game here People choose to follow convention and they may not even realize it, you know? They have a fear of quote unquote messing up or being too quote unquote out there. And while many of you have taken my advice to play to heart, uh, many though are still too timid to break out of their box. My coloring books allow plenty of room to play, but also plenty of room to be traditional. This time, I wanted to remove as many of those opportunities to be traditional as possible. Enter Cosmetica. Cosmetica, ooh, we're gonna keep enunciating that T, huh? Cosmetica, mmm. Cosmetica is a playground of illustrations featuring wild makeup, hair, and in some instances, outlandish fashion. Nothing about the way these creatures look is what one would consider typical, unless of course one is getting ready for a drag show, a themed party, or some other whimsical event. By its very nature, makeup and funky clothes allow the individual wearing them to express themselves as loudly or as subtly as they wish. On my planet, we do things a little bold. These pages want you to go ham and to explore your off-kilter side. Most of the pages are devoid of a background intentionally. The hope is that my colorists will be inspired by the line work to do their own thing as a backdrop or not. That is entirely up to you. You can leave it blank. With my previous release, I made it a point to add a lot of detailed backgrounds, but in this one, mm -mm, we didn't do that. Fashion and aesthetics play a big role in most, if not all of my books. I am obsessed with fashion after all, But this book specifically celebrates the art of playing outlandish dress up. We're talking big green hair, blue eyeshadow, silver lipstick, I don't know, pink body paint, pink eyelashes, you know? In this book, you're allowed to do it all. You are encouraged, you are pushed to do it all. You will find glamour girls and a sprinkling of glamour boys all dolled up or in the process of being dolled up in over the top style. Use your neons, your glitters, your rhinestones, your whatevers, and enjoy creating the color palettes and looks that you may find yourself too hesitant to use in your more traditional coloring books or even in your everyday life. You know, use these characters to embody that bold maximalist person that you have inside, if you have one. If you don't have one and it's just something you want to explore for funsies, every once in a while in my book, you know, if you live in neutral clothing and you just, You want to play with something bold and funky every once in a while? This book can do that for you as well. Cosmetica is a loud, unapologetic, maximalist addition to my coloring book library. She is inspired by my love for fashion, obviously, retro outrageousness, obviously, and wonky shapes, of course. It's a playground on paper. If you enjoyed my book, Aesthetica Synthetica, you'll dig this one. Prior to this book, I served you a few spooky titles, and this time we are deviating away from the spookiness a little bit. You know, I like like different flavors. I like different spices around here. So this time, there's nothing overtly spooky in this book. Nothing overtly gothy, no skulls, no cemeteries, nothing like that. It is pure, whimsical, outrageous fashion and makeup with a retro twist. 
Cosmetica is available. Cosmetica. I'm just never going to get used to saying it, but I like saying it that way. Cosmetica. Mm, arr, cosmetica. Cosmetica is available both as a bound version via Amazon and a printable version is available exclusively in my Etsy shop. Signed versions will occasionally be available via my website. Links are always down below. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to going wild with this one? I hope so. It's going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to color and chats and to seeing all of your colored pages. Let me know what you think once again and enjoy.